What's up everyone? Hope everybody is doing well. So as promised, I've created a plugin, a transition plugin that it's about glitch transitions. And uh, yep, I'm gonna show you how to install and use them and you can use them for free. And there are a total of six of them. But before the start of today's video, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button and drop a comment to tell me what should I do for the next plugin sharing so I can create a plugin for you guys for example an effects plugin or transitions plugin or titles plugin just tell me what should I do and I'll try my best to do and you know just give you guys for free and let's get started first of all please remember to download them from the Google link I'll put in the description after that just unzip the folder and how to install you can see that there's the pack already you know unzipped so how do you install them? First copy the entire file and go to go, home, and movies, motion templates and put it in the transitions folder. And you see there's LC glitch and restart your Final Cut Pro. Go to the transitions tab and find LC glitch and six of them up here. You can see and you just hang your mouse over them. You can have a very quick preview even though they might not be as good as other you know plugins that you have to purchase but yeah hope these plugins satisfy you guys please remember to just like this video to show me your support and how do you use them is actually very simple as well just you know first select a uh, say wavy and just drag it and apply it over here please remember to shorten your clip and if you want to create a longer transition you have to shorten your clips a little bit more and yep the transitions are pretty simple and pretty neat um, actually you can't do a lot of uh, you know customizations over here because I don't really have the time nor do I have the ability to actually create those high class highly customizable plugins and even I do, I might not give you guys for free. Come on, you know, I have to spend a lot of time to do all these plugins. Yep, that's the wavy, and obviously you can change to wave three and lengthen it a little bit to the maximum. Basically, it's a little bit like a prism and chromatic kind of effect. Remember to just render the uh, the transition so it's not as laggy as mine because I don't really have a very powerful Mac as usual yep and that's about it yep it's a uh, kind of long and you can obviously shorten it to be a very quick one yeah and render it just remember to render it and it's sort of similar to the optic distort and I think the distort one is uh, you know best in a very very short one Yep, so it creates a zoom and sort of a glitchy effect and really kind of, kind of loving this dynamic kind of a transition. Yep. Especially you have a very good BGM or sound effects. Remember just put in sound effects and this is going to be awesome. And for stuck, it's about, you know, repeating the sequence a little bit and creating sort of a glitch effect. And yep, I really love this. And obviously, you can always shorten the clip to be a shorter one. But you know, shorter one does not, uh, you know, be as dramatic as the longer version. So yeah, just choose wisely. And maybe just show you the last two TV roll. Uh, I think I should show you here. It's like a very standard TV changing channel, you know, very old TV changing channel kind of effect. Maybe I shouldn't call it a glitch effect, but I, uh, an old TV effect. <laughs> and maybe TV wave. Also, it can always be lengthened. Yeah, it's a sort of like wavy kind of a transition. Very neat and very simple. And that's pretty much everything that I want to show you guys today. And please, 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 before the end of this video, drop a comment on what you know, what you, what you guys want to see next up. And just subscribe to my channel and like my video. I won't let you down. I'm gonna give you a lot of free stuff next time. 
and that's about it so yep just happy editing and see you next time bye bye